It is important to note that the ATSB's investigation into this tragic accident is ongoing, so we are constrained in terms of the information we can release publicly at this time. However, the interim report which we released today does provide a factual update on the investigation so far. The report doesn't include any findings or recommendations. These will be provided in a final report which we do anticipate to be released in the first half of next year. The investigation has confirmed that the aircraft after taking off from Cottage Point made a right hand turn into Cowan Creek towards the Hawkesbury River on what you'd consider a standard departure path. Shortly after that the aircraft continued in a right turn back towards Jerusalem Bay where it entered at a low altitude below the height of the surrounding terrain. The aircraft was then witnessed to make a steep right hand turn uh, where its nose then suddenly dropped and it collided with the water in a near vertical position. With no onboard data available from the aircraft itself, transport safety investigators have been able to use witness statements and images retrieved from one of the passenger's cameras to determine what happened in the lead up to the accident. The ATSB's investigation is continuing and we'll now look at a number of factors uh, surrounding the pilot's health and medical history. We have engaged an aviation medical specialist to review medical records as well as the autopsy results which the ATSB has recently received over the past month. That review is now underway and we expect the results to appear from that over the coming months.